Hot up, Leo. Welcome to your lovers only love reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot. And uh, Leo, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs as well as your Lilith. Now, if this resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your videos, Leo. Now, Leo, like I said, this is for lovers only, so I got the new deck, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, okay? Now, on these cards, I, you know, they got a bunch of naked pictures and people doing all kinds of freaky things. So, if you got a problem with that, Leo... You ain't got a problem with that, Leo. So let me just go ahead and dive into this reading. Uh, the first column, you have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Queen of uh, Chalices, as well as the uh, Ten of Wands. Okay. Now, Leo, this tells me that you're going to be receiving communication from somebody. Okay. Could be a deck on Leo, like yourself, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is going to be communicating to you, okay? They're going to be communicating to you about this uh, this three of swords energy right here, all right? This person is somebody who was madly in love with you, who would feed you uh, all kind of things. It could be they fed you food. It could be they fed you knowledge. It could be they fed you passion they fed you all kind of daggone things leo now this person is going to communicate to you that they got a tarot reading of what with this little uh tarot reader back here that you were in bed with somebody else leo okay yeah they're going to come and tell you that this tarot card reader told them that you were in the bed sexing somebody down pretty damn good all right that you went ahead and was the queen of chalices. You could be dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, you also could be dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That you went ahead and brought somebody to your home and had them close to your bosom like this. Or that you went close to somebody else's bosom and then y'all mama just got it on. Okay? Outside in the daggone bushes. Alright? Y'all was out there doing the daggone do. Alright? Damn. Tayub. This month, I went ahead and got a goddamn tarot reading. Didn't ask you shit, okay, Leo? They didn't ask you a damn thing. They just went off what the tarot card reader told them that your ass was cheating, okay? That here we got the Hierophant in the second row, the Six of Pentacles, and the uh, Knave of Swords. So, yeah. And then they just decided to go ahead and... uh. Uh, utilize their own hierophant, their own inner priestess to tell them that, yeah, there were two people here. You see these two people at the bottom head? Yeah, there were two people here, so you were juggling them and somebody else, okay? And this person went ahead and started feeling real terrible about that, so they just went ahead and, and started drinking their, their uh, emotions all the way the, down, okay? Yeah, they, they were drinking. They didn't even really know how to dress themselves properly, Leo. You see, they got their breasts out. They sitting there on their couch just drunk as hell. People around them coming to check on them to see if they're all right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, it's like you know, they got their family and friends or, or just people who know them that is around them checking to see if they're all right. Now, when they communicate this to you or nah. It's not when they communicate this to you. When they decided to leave you because they got this terror reading that you went ahead and uh, uh, had somebody else, what you did was tell them, well, go ahead and kiss your ass then. If you want to just go ahead and leave me, all right, on some old ish that you didn't even ask me if I was even fucking doing, okay, then kiss my entire Yes. And this person decided to go ahead and uh, spy on you and stalk your ass after you said something like that to them, Leo. 
they spying on you and stalking on you to see if there is somebody else. Here is the Five of Wands and the uh, uh, Ace of Pentacles here. They stalking on you to see if there really is somebody else. They watching you, you know, where you can't see them, okay? They're watching you where you can't see them. You could be dealing with somebody who is a daggone tarot card reader. And they're just pulling the cards out to see if that is what you're actually doing, okay? If you have somebody in bed with you and just doing the daggone do if you have risen in love with somebody else they have they or they just know that you got some daggone body all right this person is being really fucking sneaky with the two of pentacles they first of all they think you juggling them and somebody else so but while your back is turned they're sneaking up behind you watching you stalking you and Cutting your damn hair. As a matter of fact, no, they ain't got that close to cut your hair, Leo. But they're going all through your daggone garbage. And they're trying to see if they can find something personal of yours so that they can go ahead and cast a damn spell on you. Or get some kind of revenge because they just know that you cheating with somebody else. And here is the chariot right here. You may be dealing with a daggone cancer. This was the nine of pentacles, which means you could have been dealing with a, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, uh, as well as the uh, um, Leo, like yourself, Aries Sagittarius. This person is not gonna stop until they find out the daggone truth. So when they're communicating with you, they are gonna see you uh, in bed some daggone where maybe they got a key to your house they could have a key to your house or some type of way to get to you while you're in the bed laying down sleep some daggone where and this may be where they cut your hair too because this person is in the ten of swords energy they're in the ten of swords energy and they just feeling like man y'all just hurt they ain't taking care of themselves they ain't taking care of the house or they got sh all over the damn place man look at this girl she needs to get her ass in a damn tub some damn where to scrub, scrub your funky and make nasty ass. Girl, what the hell? I ain't got time for that. Now, now the next card, we got the daggone uh, Knight of Chalices. Okay, this person is going to try and uh, convince you to start a new love with them. Okay, so one night when you decide, okay, because you like to keep your behind clean, Leo, you like to get your behind in the tub and wash up and keep your surroundings clean and, and you just like to look beautiful just like that and clean and smell good, okay? This person going to come at you one night while you getting out the daggone shower, all right? And they're going to try to come knock on your front door and just try to woo you into three of chalices, <laughs> I mean, you already ain't got no daggone clothes on, Leo, all right? So you may come to the door with a towel on, and then this person going to go ahead and start rubbing all over your stuff. Look at this. Rubbing all over your daggone stuff. Got their hands on your breast down there and between the legs. What the hell? This person with the three of wands is going to make us severe uh, effort to try to go ahead and woo you. Oh, yeah, they're going to woo the living out of you, Leo. Okay. Woo-wee. Okay. So this person, like I said, they're going to come and communicate to you and tell you about this heartbreak that they discovered when they went ahead and cast the cards because they may be the tarot card reader that you pulled somebody to your bosom and that y'all was out there in the damn bushes doing all kinds of freakish. And after and that's the reason why you told them to kiss your ass, Leo, okay? And that's just not true. They just know you got somebody. They just know there's some goddamn competition with you, Leo, and them. They just know that there's somebody there. They're listening to, they're going to listen to their intuition and their higher self and, and their ancestors and their deity speak to them about you having somebody else. All right, Leo. Now I'm going to go ahead and get you the dark mirror. But <clears throat> this person just, when they talk to you, there's no way in hell you're not going to be able to convince them that you don't got nobody else. You ain't going to be able to convince them that because they ain't made up their daggone mind. 
And if they're a tarot card reader, they may be misinterpreting the cards if they're reading it for their for themselves or but whoever told them that because Leo, I just feel that nah. You ain't cheating on them. You never did cheat on them. You told them to kiss your ass because of how they went ahead and just went and left you, didn't even ask you, didn't even, you know, get confirmation from you if this was true, okay? They just went ahead and rolled. <laughs> so, okay, Leo, you're saying it like this, all right, deuces. What other messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Here we go. Black flower fragrance, okay? Black flower fragrance. Well, that could be what you're smelling like when you get out of the shower here and this person come over to your house and this fragrance is irresistible. You may have some type of fragrance, some type of soap that's a flower, you know, smell like a flower, a black flower, black rose or something like that. And it smells really good. That's why this person got their hands all over you, Leo. Because of what you smell like, not just because of how you look. And you, you just know you find as hell any dad going away. But what other uh, messages do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Lilith. Alone in the world. Okay. So, either this person is going to come to the to the conclusion that you were actually alone, taking the bath, getting out the shower. They're going to see that you were actually alone this whole daggone time. And you've been alone in the world since this month before they decided to go ahead and roll on out, all right? So they're going to come to that conclusion or because they've been spying on you and watching you, they know that you've been alone. Now, this black flower fragrance is also could be talking about them being creeping in the darkness where you're not able to see them. So they may be in the cut stalking you you don't even see that they're there okay let me go ahead and get you the uh monology okay mm. so they're gonna have to admit that they were wrong <laughs> they're gonna have to admit that you know they need a bit more and need a bit more you know uh uh experience with the cards <laughs> That just because the three, of, the three of chalices come out or the two of pentacles come out don't mean that your ass was up there juggling. And you know, Leo, you're just fine really by yourself right now. You know, you're cool by yourself. You're cool by yourself. This person is going to come and try to seduce you and woo you, but I don't feel that that's something that you're going to let them do because this person is too goddamn unsteady and unstable when they just could have asked you. They just could have asked you, Leo. They didn't have to go ahead and go behind your face and get tarot card readings and spy on you and shit. Try to do all types of uh, stuff to you going in your garbage can trying to find, you know, uh, you know, stuff that, that, uh, that is yours that's personal to you so they can cast some type of spell on you. Nah, man, Leo. I don't see you going back to this mug right here, man. Okay, y'all, what messages do we have for the Leo? I don't know if I tried to come out. What messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. A new start is coming. A new start is coming. And maybe with this person or without this person, this is a new moon. Maybe with them or without them. All right. We got to bring love into the situation. This is a new moon in Aquarius. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius. But I feel that an Aqua will go ahead and ask you, Leo, if you were, you know, boning somebody else. Or if you felt the need to go ahead and have sex with somebody else. Or be affectionate with somebody else. Or bring somebody else to your bosom and in your house. And, and you're and you're doing the things that, you know, you ain't got no business doing. Instead of, you know, relying upon anything else other than talking to you, Leo. I here we got the... Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. This is a waxing moon. So you got a new start is coming. Bring love into the situation and the energy is gaining momentum. So the person who is coming to communicate with you, you have 
all the signs out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You have all of them out here. This energy is gaining momentum to come and talk to you and tell you how they feel. Tell you what the heck happened uh, and uh, why they decided to stop talking to you and why they felt hurt by or it or hurt you by it. You know, because Leo, the reason why you would be alone and not dealing with anybody else is because you was hurt by this person that you had to tell them to kiss your ass. You know, that's why you hurt. That's why you by yourself right now, because this person was just on some bull when they could have just came and talked to you. And that's something that you're going to be asking them. Why the hell didn't they just talk to you about it? How they going to just draw some type of conclusion and accuse you of being unfaithful when they don't even know. For real, until they ask that goddamn question or or do some spying themselves. And when they came to spy on you with the five of um wands here to see if you were out there boning somebody else, uh, they seen you alone in the world. So this person owes you a huge apology. This person is they better get down on their got damn knees and and beg for your daggone forgiveness not just sit up there and think that they can rub all over your body and that's all you need leo get your hands off me between my damn lip the hell you i kick your ass <laughs> leo if this reader resonated with you Go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If it didn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it, baby, because I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time, okay? So until next time, Leo, peace, love, and light. Hold up, baby.